Okay, this is a landing craft um, vehicle personnel, LCVP. It's one of 11 in the world. Uh, there's only one here in North America, which is this one, out of 23,000 that were done during the war. This one was built in 1943 in Wisconsin. You can see it was plank, so it was either done by Chris Craft or American Yacht. That's why we think it survived. Most of those that were done in uh, Louisiana were done with plywood. Um, it's mostly wood. Uh, you can see that uh, there is some metal, but it's mainly the engine and the shaft of the propeller rudder, the front door that drops down, and what we call in the military confidence armor. It's a quarter inch steel uh, that would stop small caliber up to 30 caliber, which was equivalent to the German machine gun. The, uh, the 50 caliber go through one side out the other. Good thing they didn't have those. They would uh, hold between uh, 36 uh, or 32, depending on whether you were an assault, uh, support, or heavy weapons. Um, if you can see on the front, there is uh, two drop-down doors on this. The uh, first one is, uh, they would drop that down. The officer who was up front could then look out of it to see what was going on. The second one was dropped mainly for the units that uh, had artillery, because this could also carry 12 men, a Jeep, and a 105 howitzer. Uh, they would drop those doors, put the howitzer tube through it, and then start firing at the beaches. Unfortunately, it wasn't a very stable target, and so uh, they quit that very quickly because it was a waste of ammunition. Um, these were done by Higgins. Uh, they were originally swamp boats. This thing could float in three and a half feet of water. The back, two feet, two inches. Why do you have it like that? Because when you pull off the beach, your boat tends to go like this. If it was even all the way across, you'd get stuck in the channel bottom. So this could pull out and then stabilize and move off the beaches. Um, the other thing on this is when they designed it, uh, they found that the propeller caused bubbles. So they were going to try to fix that. But one of their engineers said, don't do that because it Boins up the ship, so that's why I can do three and a half rather than four feet of water. The numbers, PA, attack transport, because obviously these couldn't float across the Atlantic or Pacific, so it was an armored transport which would hold between 24 and 48 landing craft. Higgins designed these so they could be stacked, three high. 45 stands for the USS Enrico, and 18 says that this was the 18th landing craft on that ship. Okay. Was this actually used in the World War II? Or? Uh, well, we think that 99% it was in the Normandy invasion. Uh, we can't tell for sure because they used this as a harbor barge up to the mid-90s in Normandy Bay and the person that uh, had it then had pulled off all the identification. But because uh, landing crafts were a rare resource and we needed every one we had and it was in Normandy, we were pretty sure that it was used in that invasion. We don't know if it was also in the Italian uh, invasion at Anzio or in Sicily or in Africa. But in 43, if it was designed then, um, it could have been in those also.